It's a long way to Alaska, even longer if you decide to take the scenic routes. And that's once again what we're doing today. We're driving from Cody, Wyoming to Yellowstone. But first, let's explore Cody a little bit and then we'll hit the road. I'm riding, 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 riding in my RV, my RV wherever I want to be. Because I'm free in my RV. Well, the sun's coming out, and would you take a look at this place? I mean, I'm, I'm kind of bummed out we're only here for one night, but one night, you know, it's, it's one of those places. Now we know it's here, and uh, we can return at some point. We may or may not go into Cody tonight. I mean, we kind of want to enjoy, you know, this lakefront view here um, at uh, Buffalo Bill State Park. It's been a long day driving, but some of the most uh, beautiful, some of the most uh, be uh, beautiful landscapes along the way. And you know, e everywhere you look, I mean, look, look, look at the view towards this side. I mean, it's a, it's a great campground. It's water and electric, and there's a dump station, and there's trash over there, which I need to, I need to dump some trash. All right. Um, if we decide to go into Cody, you'll be the first to, to know. Of course, you know we are going to Cody, right? But not before enjoying this idyllic place for a little bit. Well, we came back to Cody. Sorry, I forgot to press record on the rooftop GoPro. That happens sometimes. Uh, we're gonna check out this Irma Hotel here. It's supposed to be very historic. Cody is a very touristy town and very important when it comes to Western history. There are several museums, none of which we're going to visit today. Instead, we're going to the famous prime rib buffet at the Irma Hotel. The hotel was founded by Buffalo Bill himself back in 1902 named after his youngest daughter, Irma. Here's the famous Cherrywood Bar, a gift from Queen Victoria. Decent buffet, great pasta soup. And the prime rib was not bad. All the walls are decorated with dead animal heads. And here's the famous bar once again. Let's walk around the hotel a little bit. Oh, this is the governor's room. Lots of pictures and memorabilia from the Wild West. Well, the hotel was pretty impressive. The buffet was pretty good. Service, eh, as expected at a touristy place, but uh, let's see now. Let's take a picture with good old Cody here, Mr. Buffalo Bill. Hey there, Cody. How you doing, man? Good stuff.
We're going to Yellowstone. But first, let's see if we can get into a car wash because both Minitini and, uh, and Starship are filthy. Otherwise, this would have been a great place to, to film a new intro with that mountain in front of us, but we'll do it some other time. There will be plenty of mountains ahead of us on this trip, if all goes well. So, um, to take the next left, enjoy the ride. Today we're staying in Gardiner, Montana. First we're gonna go north on State Route 120, then we're going to take the Chief Joseph Scenic Byway until eventually we join US 212 entering Yellowstone through the northeast entrance, crossing Lamar Valley. The Beartooth Highway would have been another option, but I already did that in 2019, and it is a little bit of a detour. The quicker route would have been US-14 entering Yellowstone through the east, but I'd rather do Lamar Valley today, since it is unlikely we'll be heading back east. Here we make a left onto Chief Joseph Scenic Byway. Let's break for lunch. Oh, what a great spot for lunch. We're gonna make some grouper that came all the way from Florida with us. We're gonna melt some butter and uh, nope, we're not exactly level here. I've got this New Orleans Cajun seasoning from Weber that is really good. Everything tastes better with butter anyway. Some camp mix for good measure. Look at that, black and grouper, baby. Once again, it is going to be lunch with a view. This is delicious. Mm.
we've got bad weather coming. And um, so I came up with this idea. Let's see what it looks like inside the trailer while we're on the road. And I don't know if this was a good idea, because sometimes you don't really want to know what's going on back there now, do you? And we've reached the pass. Ooh, it's getting a little chilly up here. Well, this is the Dead Indian Hill Summit. Altitude 8,000 feet, no wonder. Look at that. Look at those ominous clouds back there. That's, that looks scary. Luckily, the, I, I don't think the wind is blowing this way. So, um, anyway, this is a phenomenal view. Let me give you a panoramic view. There's some low hanging clouds on those peaks back there. And now we have nowhere to go but down. That, that is something to, that is a sight to behold actually. There it is, the road ahead. All right, let's keep going. And hopefully that weather won't, uh, won't uh, catch up with us, which it might. Here's the bridge over Sunlight Creek. Such great scenery around here. I don't remember whether I put the latch on the refrigerator door, and with all these curves, who knows what could happen. Hmm, scenic area. Let's stop. We came to make sure we had put the latch on the refrigerator and the refrigerator is fine, but... Yep, this happened. Hopefully we can get it fixed. I think so, I think I can fix it. When we get to... When we get to Gardiner. Let's continue. The views are beautiful. Here 
here's our first look at the very pointy Pilot Peak. Here we join US 212 towards Cook City along with Silver Gate, the gateway to Yellowstone National Park. I didn't see a sign or a grease on the pavement, but apparently we are now in Montana. This is the very touristy Cook City. Perhaps one of these days we'll leave the RV behind and experience a town like this. Then again, maybe not. Oh no, I almost went in through the low clearance gate. Our first wildlife sighting, a deer. All right, quick party break. This would be Soda Butte Creek. Beautiful. This is one of the areas that suffered from the historic flood on June 2022. We are approaching Lamar Valley, which is actually one of the best areas to see wildlife, particularly bison. But it is rainy and they are all kind of far away. Here we go, more bison, lots of them. That a coyote I see. Here we have a bighorn sheep, I believe. Oh, there's two of them. Lots of construction going on here. I mean, they had to pretty much rebuild all these roads after the Great Flood. Here, at Tower Junction, we're going to take the Grand Loop Road, west towards Mammoth Spring. Here we have a wildlife jam. Apparently, there's a bear out there, or something. Many times they are hidden in plain sight.
here we have another traffic jam, this one due to construction, and our first view of Mammoth Spring, which we're actually going to visit the day after tomorrow. We're going to be staying at Sun Outdoors in Gardiner for a few days so that we can come back to the park without the trailer. The road going to Gardiner got completely washed out in the floods of 2022, so we're going to take what they are calling the temporary entrance. I believe it is the old emergency road that they just paved it. And it is actually not bad, but very windy and with some rather steep grades. Here we are, Gardiner, Montana. There's the Roosevelt Arch and a very touristy town, gateway to the north entrance to Yellowstone and we'll explore it in a little more detail later. Right now, I just want to check into the campground and relax. It's been a long day of driving. That down there, by the way, the roaring Yellowstone River. Let me take care of our broken drawer, reinforce it with some glue and put back the screws. I'm actually gonna use a different hole than the original. At least this side is not gonna fall off anymore. We're making ropa vieja, but with a variation. I'm going to use bone broth. Here we've got some flank steak that we're just gonna boil for a couple of hours. Now for the sofrito. We'll start with some avocado oil. And as you can see, I already shredded the beef and chopped the onions and the peppers. A little bit of salt. Mm, more salt and pepper. And garlic. Seco Golden Cooking Wine, no sugar added tomato sauce, and the trifecta, oregano, cumin, smoked paprika, and a little bit of cayenne pepper, that would be four, right? Manzanilla olives, and let's add the beef with that reduced bone broth. Let's mix it all up real good. And this is not part of the recipe, but we're gonna add some broccoli. Some are a little too big, so let's cut them up and hmm, that looks delicious. I think we've neglected our map for way too long, so let's take care of that, since Montana is our last American state before we cross into Canada. Well, taking advantage that it is a rainy day to do some projects here. And I bought this, um, it's supposed to be like a child-proof catch for the drawer, but it should prevent it from opening all the way up again. We'll see, time will tell. Once you close the door, it catches there, and then it will only open up to here. So what do you do? You insert your finger or fork or anything you have there, and it releases. Not a perfect solution, but at least we won't lose the drawer. <laughs>
this particular saloon has a great view of the Yellowstone River, and they have Parks IPA. That's a lot of water under that bridge. The food is okay, but you really come here for the beer and the view. All right, let's go back. Tomorrow, we're going to Yellowstone. But that would be the next video. Until then, thank you so much for watching and see you on the road. Riding in my RV